Oh my god, you guys. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh. <gasps> Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Dynasty series. Before we begin today's episode, I just want to say thank you guys so much for those of you who asked questions for my Q&A video. I will be making that and posting that this week, so just stay tuned for that. But in the last episode of the Dynasty series, we had Harrison Golding and Victoria Cleary. They got married, so now she's Victoria Golding. And despite Astrid's efforts, she was not able to stop them from getting married. She did not want Victoria to marry her father, but no matter what she did, from throwing her drink at Victoria or telling her that she's never gonna belong in the family. Victoria still married her father, Harrison. And then we also had Astrid confront Harley and basically tell her the same thing, that she was never gonna be welcomed in the family and that she would never be a Golding. And we do know that Harley and Astrid don't get along. And I think that hatred for each other is probably going to continue in this episode too. So in this episode, we are going to have the Goldings throw their annual charity gala. So they throw this gala once a year. It is the biggest event in the city and everyone who who is important is coming to it and they all wear their finest jewelry, their nicest outfits, and it's just going to be amazing and so, so cool. And I think a little bit of drama might happen between Harley and Astrid because Harley really just wants to have Astrid's life. She really just wants to have her friends and she wants to have like her clothes and everything. So she is just trying her hardest to make Astrid's life miserable and to take her friends from her. So we're gonna try to see what kind of scheme she comes up with in this episode. So before we begin today's episode, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications so you never miss another one of these videos. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you're excited for this episode and let's go ahead and play The Sims 4 Dynasty. Okay, so we are at the Golding Estate. It looks like you guys can already see Astrid, Melody, and Alexis's outfits that they're wearing tonight. So they right now are just trying on outfits and getting ready for tonight's big event. So it looks like the girls are kind of just talking, getting ready for the event tonight. And they are wearing their beautiful, beautiful dresses. So Melody and Alexis's dresses you guys haven't seen yet. Oh gosh, okay, so we are starting the charity event. So I will show you guys their dresses and then I will show you guys the amazing kind of just atmosphere and decorations that we have for the big charity event and the party and everything. They're raising money for the public schools in the city. So they right now just have like a goal set for the amount they want to raise. So I, it's going to be exciting. One, like that is our goal is to make sure that we raise that much money, but also just to like see what drama is going to happen because everyone who is important is going to be here. So I think for that, that is going to make Harley really, really try and be a little bit crazy. She is going to try to talk to all of those important people so we'll kind of get to see what she does. So you guys will also get to see who's here because there's some a few new people I want to introduce you guys to also. So let's go ahead and start. I did get a mod that makes the event longer, which is very helpful to me because I wanted to make sure we get all of the story stuff in line before the event ended. So you guys have seen Astrid's dress already. This is my favorite one of her dresses. It's gorgeous. It's like the gold with the like the blue. I, I think they're feathers, honestly. They look like feathers to me, but they're beautiful. And she's got these matching earrings, like the gold or they're sapphires and with the gold and then just like this diamond necklace with it too. And it's beautiful. And then you, Melody's sitting right now, but you can kind of see her dress a little bit. So it is just like white with like gold embroidery and it's beautiful. And she's got her hair up in her iconic bun. And I don't know where Alexis went. I think she went downstairs, but we are going to go see everyone. Okay. Okay, so this is our party, you guys. I changed all the lights. I redecorated a little bit too. So this is our main party room right over here. And it looks like we have like a ton of food. We have a, a fruit punch fountain. I think I'm going to just like really quickly add a chocolate fountain on here too, because I think that is necessary. And I'll probably put more food on that other table. We do have our butler. So we haven't met him before because he was on vacation. So this butler has been with the family for a very, very long time. His name is Gerald Carter. So we'll get to meet him in a bit. But then we have right here, we have Harley. So this is the outfit she chose for tonight. It's very cool. It has like these geometric shapes on it. And then she's got these like nice burgundy heels to go with it too, to kind of match her hair. So this one is really cool. That's her outfit that she chose tonight. And then we have Victoria. So Victoria chose a nice mermaid dress and then has these 
gorgeous crystals and all of that on it. So it's like very like dark crystals, like a lot of black crystals, but like also like some red and blues in there too. And it looks really cool and super elegant. And then we also have, we have Demi right here. So it looks like Demi is, oh, I think Demi's pregnant. I forgot about this. Okay, so, and a lot of you guys had said this in the last episode too about Demi, which is Alexis's stepmother who she does not like at all. So it looks like Demi was smart and she knew she wanted to stay by getting herself pregnant and making sure she had Talon's baby, Alexis's father. So Alexis is not happy about this and I'm sure tonight she's gonna be a little bit irritated, probably complaining a lot about Demi too. So that is going to be interesting. So I'm excited to see all of that as well. It looks like we also have uh, Jacqueline Lavoisier. So this is Melody's mother. She's in this gorgeous emerald dress. So I'm kind of just kind of showing you guys all the outfits first. Um, but then we have some new people to meet too. So I think you guys have met, oh, where'd she go? Oh, she kind of disappeared on me. So right here, this is Alexandra Casanova. She is the mayor's wife. So the mayor and her actually don't have a great relationship at the moment. There's some speculation that they are not getting along very well. So we'll kind of have to see what happens with that in one of the later episodes. So this is a new family. So this is the Alexanders. Oh my gosh, I realized I have like Alexis, Alexandra, and the Alexanders. So this is Teresa Alexander. The Alexanders, they are the first family in Newcrest. So Talon Ripley, he was the one developing Newcrest and they've kind of been helping him with it. So they're the first family to move in there. They're very, very wealthy. And our family, the Goldings, they don't know them very well. Harrison has met them, but I don't think the rest of the family has yet. So we'll get to see who their family consists of because I think they're going to be a big part in this episode. So right now, this is Teresa Alexander. It doesn't look like Victoria knows her, so I'm going to have her introduce herself to Teresa. I actually just changed Teresa's outfit because she was wearing the same dress as, Ale uh, as Alexis was. So I changed her into this gorgeous, I think it's a black gown? It looks black in this light, but I don't actually think I chose a black gown. Also guys, if you can hear these like banging outside, I apologize. I think it's fireworks. I hope it's fire. I should probably check what that is. Okay, so yeah, it's fireworks. Jake just confirmed. I was like, I should probably check what that is because the loud booming and banging, I don't know. I just, you never, you never know. Just want to be safe. So there's like a fair right down the street. So that's the fireworks coming from there. So I apologize if you hear a loud like booming and banging in the background. So like I said, I changed Teresa's dress. So just, I didn't want her to wear the same thing as Alexis was wearing. And then Alexandra's dress, this is actually one that comes with the Get Famous pack. So nothing really special there. It's not custom content. So this right here, you guys. So this is Devinder Krishna. He actually has had a huge crush on Astrid since they were kids. So he's like kind of acquaintances with her, their family. I mean, like his family, their, his parents are both really well-known surgeon, surgeons. Oh my goodness, sorry. They're both really well-known surgeons. And so they do have a huge impact to the society. They're very involved with the charity and all of that as well. So he just has a huge crush on, on Astrid. So hope, I mean, like it's kind of a hopeless crush. He's never told her that he likes her, but he just, really, really likes her. And Ash is pretty like, like she's not very nice to most people, but she's pretty nice to him. So and I, I know that Astrid is not interested in any guys right now though. So we'll just kind of have to see. Okay, so this is another one of the new families that we're introducing you guys to. So this is Roxana Trindantio and she, their family is not gonna be like, they're they're here because they are an important family. They actually live in Oasis Springs. Um, and I wasn't going to involve too many Sims from Oasis Springs, but they are a very wealthy and powerful family from there too. So we'll get to know their family eventually, but they are at the party here tonight. So we don't know much about them, but we will definitely get to know about them more in the future. Um, and I know that they have, like, she has a, a, a husband and then a son that's a young adult and then two toddlers. I think one's a kid and one's a toddler, I think. But we actually didn't invite any kids to the charity gala because no kids are invited. So none of the younger siblings or anything like that you'll see here because it's all like teenagers and up. And then here we have Talon Ripley. You guys don't really need to see their outfits because I don't think they're that special. I don't know. I wish there was more custom content for men, guys. There's nothing too exciting about them. I think like, like sometimes Alistair will get a little bit like extravagant with his outfits, but his actual like not boyfriend, but his sweetheart Lucian, he actually does get very extravagant with his costumes or with his, not with his costumes, with his outfits. And I think he's actually coming tonight. So we might get to see what he's wearing as well. But this right here, this is Devinder's father. This is Johnson Krishna. So he is the surgeon that I was telling you guys about. Oh, guys. 
guys. Okay, so this is Zane Alexander. So this is the Alexander family from Newcrest that I was telling you all about. So he is the husband of Teresa and they're two teenagers. They have a girl and a boy. They're also should be coming here tonight too. So we'll get to meet them as well because their son is like really, really popular right now because they're brand new. So he's like the good looking boy that everyone is talking about. Oh guys, this is who I was talking about, Lance Alexander. So this is the teenage son of the Alexanders. So it looks like he found Astrid. He was flirting with her for a little bit. So looks like people are kind of passing by them, but it looks like, uh oh, it looks like some uh, friendly interaction just went down. He seems to be liking Astrid a lot. Like he's definitely flirting with her a bit. Astrid, I think just try to do some mischief to kind of try to get him to stop talking to her though. So I don't think she's too interested, but he seems very, very interested in, in her. But you know what guys, I think Harley is actually really interested in him because she's feeling very, very flirty. She just walked away too after seeing him and Astrid together. But I think she actually has like a big crush on Lance. I don't know if it's like an actual crush or if it's really just to try to get with him so that she can climb the social ladder. But she just looked really, really irritated. She was feeling very flirty, but she just looked really irritated and is like walking away now. So I kind of think that she is kind of stewing up a plan to to one, try to get Astrid's friends to be mad at her. And also because she's just so irritated that like all these guys, like every, I feel like every guy that she's tried to go after always has a huge crush on Astrid. And I'm sure that is like, getting really, really on her nerves. So Harley's actually feeling very enraged, but this is her chance to talk to Lance right now. And I, okay, let's see if he's gonna try to talk to her. She has to attempt an introduction because she doesn't have a high enough skill to talk to him. I, she's like literally, she's going crazy, but she looks so angry. I feel like she's been, like, do you see that side eye he's doing right now? I feel like he was like, what the heck is wrong with this woman? Like, this is very, very weird. Like, she was like, hi, like, but like, she looked very angry when she was doing it. I feel like he was like, okay, that was really weird. So then I feel like this is making Harley even more angry and upset. And I feel like she's coming up with a plan, but she's a plan to make Melody, Astrid's friend, angry with her. And it involves Melody's boyfriend, Julian Casanova, which I don't know if you guys have met him yet, but this is Julian. So Harley has already tried to flirt with him and was not successful with it. And Julian is just like super in love with Melody and they've been dating for a really long time. They've been very, very long term. So of course, Astrid and Alexis knows Julian too, because they're there. He is their best friend's boyfriend. So right now, I think this is going to involve Julian. Oh my gosh, and this angry person right here, you guys, is Lucian. So this is Alistair's sweetheart. But, so Alistair is actually a teenager and Lucian is a young adult. He lives by himself in one of those high-rise apartments because he's super, super rich and famous. So they actually can't do too many friendly interactions, but everything they do is kind of secretive. His father doesn't know about Lucian because his father does not like Lucian, clearly because he showed up at this party and he's super, super angry. And I feel like him and Alistair must have just had a conversation about like, we need to keep our distance about things. And I feel like Lucian got a little bit upset with him. So we're definitely going Gonna have to try to figure out what's going on with them a little bit later. Okay, so Harley has found Julian. So basically her plan is to tell Julian that Melody wants to meet him upstairs because she kind of overheard Astrid and Melody's conversation once talking about how Melody's always kind of been very like conservative, but recently she's been a little bit more affectionate with Julian and Julian is super affectionate with her. So Harley's walking away now, so she's done her thing. So Julian is thinking about it and I think he's gonna go upstairs because I think he believes that Melody does want to see him upstairs. Okay, so it looks like Julian has gone into the guest bedroom upstairs where Harley told him that Melody would meet him at. So now Harley has found Astrid and she has a plan to try to get Astrid into the guest bedroom too. So like, why would Astrid listen to her honestly? But I feel like Harley is kind of telling her like, I heard something really weird coming from the guest bedroom. And she, I feel like she's telling her like, she doesn't feel comfortable checking it because like, it's not her house. Like, I feel like she's trying to butter up Astrid by saying, that and I feel like Astrid's like what the heck is going on so I think this is actually gonna try to get Astrid into that room so it looks like Astrid is listening to her she's like oh, fine I'll do what she says and it looks like she's heading to the guest bedroom okay so it looks like Julian is, is in his pajamas and Astrid is coming in right now and I feel like she's like yelling at him like why are you here where are your clothes where is your shirt why is he in his 
like pajamas right now. I think she's just very confused. And I think he's telling her like, Harley is the one who told me that Melody was gonna be up here waiting for me. And she's like, oh my gosh, Harley, are you serious right now? Like, I feel like this whole conversation is happening right now. And I think he's just getting really angry that Harley is even there and that he that she tricked her into doing this too. And I feel like Asher is just not taking the yelling at all. Okay, so Harley has now found Melody and she is kind of trying to implant it in her head. Like, she's like, oh, where did Julian go? She's like, well, actually, I think I saw him go upstairs with Astrid. And I feel like Astrid and Julian kind of had had a history before. So I feel like Melody has always kind of been a little bit insecure about it. So just because she's been somewhat insecure about it, it is kind of like getting to her head a little bit. And and obviously she doesn't like Harley either because of what Astrid has said about her. But I feel like this is kind of like eating at her and she is going to try to like go upstairs and kind of check it out and see what Harley is talking about. See just kind of what's going on. Melody is about to walk into the room and I think she has seen Astrid and Julian in there and trying to figure out what the heck is going on. She's like so mad. Oh my God, Astrid's like mocking her too. Like Astrid is not handling this well. I feel like she's like, no, your boyfriend was up here and was shirtless and like, I have no idea why. And I feel like Melody is like, look how mad she is, honestly. Like she is, like she's such a sweetheart usually, but when it comes to her boyfriend, she's a little bit overprotective. So she is yelling at Astrid, you guys. Julian is out of there. He's like walking away. Like I didn't do anything. I don't know what to do. And Astrid and Melody are just going at it and arguing right now. So honestly, Harley got what she wanted. She was able to make Melody angry at Astrid and we don't know how long for, but I feel like Astrid's kind of going to try to explain to her like, no, this was all Harley. Like, you should know me. You should know that I wouldn't do this. Oh my God, guys, Melody is so angry right now. She's so, so angry. But Astrid is even angry at her because she's like, you're my friend. Like, you should believe me, not Harley. Like, what the heck is wrong with you? Oh my God, you guys. Oh my God. I'm not even doing anything. Honestly, they are just arguing by themselves. They're friendship is going down so much she's oh my god astrid is like i can't even she's like so so done with this she's so done with this you guys harley was successful she's probably in some other room like basking on her triumph she's probably outside listening right now but like oh my gosh guys this is insane oh my god okay well hopefully they can work that out i feel like astrid's going to try to make it up for her i can see the daylight peering through the window so that's when you know that people have been partying all night for sure. So it looks like a lot of our guests have actually decided to hang out in this little living room over here, which is interesting. Harley, you guys can see, is dancing by herself. She's like, I'm so happy right now. I just like, I did not think that plan would work and it totally, totally did. So right now, all of our guests are just hanging out. You guys can see Lucian walking away all snobby. And then I, it doesn't look like Alistair was in this room though, but I think that Alistair would have been like, try, I think he's been avoiding him a little bit and Lucian's having like, on the time of his life, which might be irritating Alistair a little bit too. But yeah, it looks like everyone else is in here too, guys. So we have actually reached the goal for the charity of the amount that we were trying to raise. So they easily were able to raise that amount because of course this is a party full of like billionaires and billionaires and all of that. So everyone is honestly having a great time. I feel like they're playing like a game of charades right now. Like I feel like that's why everyone is in this room right now. So it looks like Julian has actually changed back into his tuxedo, thank goodness, because I did not want him going back downstairs in his pajamas. But oh my gosh, like Melody's mother and father are behind him and they have no idea what has happened right now. But I know that Melody and Astrid are still upstairs yelling and just like, literally causing a huge scene. And I feel like someone's got to hear them screaming at each other. Oh no, Astrid is back down here. It looks like she's back down here. So I don't know what she did with Melody, you guys, but I think Melody might be, I don't know if Melody's back upstairs. I don't know, guys. I think Melody might've left. I think she was so angry that she left. Like, honestly, her boyfriend didn't even like bother to stay and explain. He just walked out. Oh my gosh, you guys, Astrid is feeling enraged now. She's so, so irritated. She's probably, yeah, she's like, I feel like definitely venting to her father right now about what happened. His father's making a drink for her, I feel like. Like, he's totally fine with her drinking. Guys, look who's also here. It's Lance Alexander. So he's the one who has a huge, huge crush on Astrid. And Astrid's just like, he happens to be there too. So Astrid's complaining to him and kind of explaining what happened and I feel like Lance is very like like I feel like he'd be very understanding because I, th I think he really does have a big 
big crush on Astrid and I feel like he's used to getting what he wants and I think he definitely wants to make something with her happen. So I feel like he knows that she, like he heard that she was angry about something so he wants to like try to be here for her too. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, Lance is hugging Astrid. I feel like he's hugging her and being like, it's okay. Like look how much she's complaining about everything and he just hugged her. Oh, she's, oh, they're being playful together, you guys. They're being playful together. I think Astrid might be, or I feel like she's flirting just to like have like an outlet, you know, like something that she, so she can like forget about this. So she's like complaining to him, but he's like kind of like being sweet to her. And I feel like to her, like that is like him being there is like kind of making her a little bit attracted to him because everyone is so obsessed with this guy. Like everyone thinks he's like super, super attractive. And obviously he's super smooth if he's able to like, oh, and he's walking away. But obviously if, he, if he's able to kind of like get Asher to flirt with him, he's obviously like, a little bit smooth and knows how to talk to her. And it looks like Astrid's following him right now too, back out there. Oh, yep, she's gonna go talk to him, I think. <gasps> she wants to go talk to him. I didn't even tell her to do that. So she wants to go talk to him. It looks like she's gonna go swimming with him too, you guys. So I think Astrid definitely is, is super into this. Oh my gosh, there is a knocked out guy right now. In our in our hot tub, who is this Zayn Alexander? Oh my gosh, that is that is his dad. Oh my gosh, this was a party. Seriously, this was a a huge successful party. I mean, this was like a, a ton happened. We were able to reach our goal for the gala as well, so that's really really great. It looks like some people are kind of still like sticking around. It's 4:30 p.m. the next day, so people have been here for a very very long time, guys. Though it looks like Harley is like, I mean, she is just in the other room while Zane, I'm trying to like zoom out so you guys can see, but this isn't working as well as I thought it was. But she, yeah, she's in the other room so she can see like Astrid and Zane and, or not Zane, and Lance and all of them like kind of flirting. So I feel like, like she kind of got it, she got what she wanted by making Melody mad at Astrid, but like she still wanted Lance. So maybe she might go try to flirt with him. I feel like she was like, well, if Astrid can do it, like I can totally do it. So she she barely even knows him. Like they're like, she's tried to attempt an introduction so many times and it hasn't worked, but she, it looks like she's feeling super energized right now. So I think because Astrid was doing it and she feels very confident after making what happened with Melody happen to Astrid, I feel like, she is, oh my God, she's screaming right now. She's crazy around him, you guys. He is like, um, okay. I don't know if any relationship is forming at all. She's trying so, so hard to talk to him. She's tried an introduction. I think she might, she might try for a hug or something like that. You know what? I don't even know though if Astrid, I like, she, I feel like she knows what's going on with Harley. You know what? I think Astrid's gonna confront Harley about this because this is the first time she's seeing Harley after it happened. So I think she's going to definitely, definitely be mean to her. She's gonna act tough because like she just really messed up her relationship with her best friend. And I think she deserves to get yelled at, honestly. Even though her father's right here, I don't think Astrid cares that her father's there. I think, I mean, she's already told her father what Harley has done. I think her father's gonna try to stay out of it. Like he's gonna, he was trying to be their first daughter, but he's still gonna try to stay out of it because it's his wife's daughter and like his stepdaughter too. All right, so Harley just like, just completely dismissed her. And she's sitting down next to her and be like, okay, what? What do you want to talk to me about? And I feel like Astrid's yelling at her like, oh my gosh, you totally ruined everything with my best friend, Melody and me. Like, this is all your fault. Like, what the heck is wrong with you? You're ruining my life. I feel like she is just going to try so hard to figure out what to do. First things first though, I think she does need to try to apologize to Melody and like not yell at her when Melody was trying to yell at her. Like, I think she should actually try to explain things to her. But I don't know, Melody reacted. Like, I feel like she shouldn't have jumped to conclusions so much. Like, I feel like if she's Astrid's friend, she should have like believed her and not assumed the worst, even though Harley said so, because she knows this bad relationship between Harley and Astrid. Astrid's walking away. I think she's just had enough, honestly. So yeah, so I'm gonna end this episode here. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think that Astrid should try to explain herself to Melody or if she just shouldn't even bother because Melody was so quick to dismiss her and so quick to assume that she was trying to flirt with her boyfriend. Let me know what you guys thought of the outfits too and just the extravagance of everything because I love doing the lights of the party and everything and dressing everyone up in their formal outfits because I try to get like a new dress for every big event. And then maybe in the next episode, we'll get to see Demi, Alexis's stepmother, see if she'll have a baby, see what Alexis is going to do about it as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!